Kreuzer, Shemai. Welcome to the Vale of Glamorgan coastline and the Bristol Channel. We're out today see, uh, filming a series of videos which uh, follows the Heritage Trail. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the videos already. This is section 10 and we're following that guide. It's a guide that was uh, created by Vailways, which is a, a charity trust that help look after all the paths and uh, encourage us all to get out and enjoy ourselves in this beautiful part of Wales. As you can see, we're on the coastline and in particular behind me is King George V College at St Donuts. Um, so you've got two options at the start of this route. You can either uh, go inland and see all the points of interest in St Donuts, which is quite a few, or what we're doing is we're on the coast, obviously, and we're gonna follow it further west towards Monk Nash, which is the end point today. But we're gonna go past Nash Point and see the, the lighthouses there and take in more of this coastline, which is just stunning. One of my favourite coasts in Wales. Even though the sea's not that pretty, the coastline makes up for it. So let's head west towards Mugnash. Just following the course now towards uh, the lighthouses, which you might be able to see just in the distance. The flashing red light, but it's the first little climb at uh, King George's College. So I am laughing. Matthew had a little trip in front of me. There he is, my little brother. Um, yeah, first little steep climb at King George College. It's not long, but he puts it next to the chest a little tight, which is nice. But following these all this little footpaths now and all the all the hedgerows are in bloom. Lovely farmers fields to the south and uh, north. You know, you know I love a farm. But it's a nice little section. We've dodged some of the historical points of interest in St Donuts towards Marcos. But you know we've we've taken the coastline in favour of those, so we're going to make the most of that and see the light through this now. So we're at Nash Point, obviously you now there's a little caravan, camping field, car park type thing here. Um, but then we're just going to head west again. There's a few points of interest down by you that we're going to have a look at. Before we come to the Cum Nash Valley, which takes us up to Monk Nash. And uh, I love walking there. And, uh, we'll see why in a bit.
crows. It's a 12th century church, Church of the Holy Cross. It's a nice Norman front and then a 14th century tower. And I've been told that the windows are in the style of the leper style, whatever that is. The crows are. <laughs> Creepy. So just doubling back on us as we've been to see the church and heading back towards the coastline but rather than go on the single track lane we come down this alternative route which is uh, the nature trail and it is lovely. It's a change of scenery from the coast and it uh, takes us right down now to the coastline and there's a uh, horse at the bottom. Um, there's banks and ditches that date back to the island here, so we're trying to see if we can see some of them. But knowing my track record on these routes, I tend to walk past our historical points of interest. I haven't got the keenest of eyes, so to see if uh, we can find it. What we're standing in now is uh, an old Iron Age fort. It's got a series of banks and ditches that give that away. But again, you know, Got this massive view again. It's, it's 360, so it would have been an ideal place. Nice little climb up there from Nash Point, from the Nature Preserve uh, footpath. Whew. Right, it's a lovely day, lovely day. Quickly coming to the end of section 10. Uh, it's going to be the end of the coastline on this section before we head up this little wooded valley north into Monk Nash towards the Plough and Harrow where we're going to finish today's walk. But you know, we are going to come back to the coastline, we're just going to head a bit further west in section 11. And literally where the sun is on the cliff, you might see it, you might not. It's roughly where we rejoin it, so not long, but. Just going to cut in for a little bit, see some interesting uh, points of historic value and um, we'll be back. I love the coast, I love this part of the coastline of Wales. So this is uh, Cub Nash Beach. Uh, we're going to head up the valley up towards Mank Nash. But it's a lovely beach coming a lot. And in the previous video, you could have seen me falling down that hillside. But you might see the little holes in the cliff line. I'll zoom in if you can't. But as the coast eroded, um, little feet bones and skeletons were popping out one day so it was an old burial so burial down there and yeah the feet out of those little holes you can see um were sticking out one day to scare the locals <laughs> Uh, 
past the old uh, water mill. Uh, I love that place. I love a lot of places. But um, you may recognise it from the music video, Everything I Do, I Do For You, Brian Adams. So yeah, so not only is it historically a um, mill, it's also where they filmed the longest standing UK number one at 16 weeks. So two for the price of one, eh? Lovely. standing now in the remains of a monastic grange, uh, Neath Abbey. You see all the banks and ditches and even over here. And just in the adjacent field we're going to see the bit of a building as well. Because we have the old dovecot as well there. A place to have an abbey. There's a stream coming through it. Lovely. Yeah, nearly at the end now, nearly at the plough and arrow, which we're going to call it a day for this route. It's been a great little walk again, you know, got a mixture of paths, got the coastline, and then cutting into the Cum uh, Nash Valley, which is always lovely. And then back into these farmer's fields, which is a nice little treat again. This is the route card for section 10 from St Donuts to Monk Nash. Uh, we, uh, we started down here but you can start in, on the main road in St Donuts. So the two options, the option we took today was along the coast where we saw Nash Lighthouse. But if you went inland you would have seen St Donuts Castle a bit better. The old rectory which is near the castle. Um, Marcos Farm and then into the church where we saw the church with Holy Cross. And then we walk down the nature trail into the Monk, uh, Marcos Valley, up the hill to the fort, and then follow the coast all the way to Cum Nash, where we went up the valley and we saw the old mill. And then we went through the farm fields and saw the monastic grange remains there. And then finished at the church of St. Mary, which is by the side of me, you know. I can't see the grotesque heads that the, that the um, root card suggests on there, but it is close, maybe it's inside. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking with me on this route. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'm going to the Plough and Harrow now. Well, I think it's closed actually because of Covid still, so I can't even have a well in pint. But we'll uh, go down that way, maybe you can have an ice cream. But yeah, thanks for sticking around and watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe if you liked it that much, and uh, tell your friends, check me out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hoi Bye.